Hey guys, Sokka from Socky Tech and in today's video I'm going to be talking about the differences between Samsung One UI 2.0 versus Samsung One UI 2.1. Now as you may or may not know, the Samsung Galaxy S20 series and the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip do come with Samsung One UI 2.1 which is a newer version as opposed to the One UI 2.0 that is running on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 series. So let me demonstrate really quickly what I'm talking about. I'm going to go to the settings of both of these phones, all right? So this is the Note 10 Plus. This is the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip. So we're going to be taking a look at all the differences. So let's go to About Phone and go into the Software Information section. Right over here you can see 2.0, Android 10, 2.1, Android 10 and of course 2.1 does have some new enhanced features and some, some slight variations in the overall style. So let's dive in and look at all those things. Now the very first thing that has actually changed is believe it or not the Bixby interface. So when you pinch the screen and you uh, scroll over, over here we have the Bixby Home that we can enable, right? And once you enable that you can swipe over to Bixby Home which is, you know, some people like it, some people don't care about it. Uh, some people just think it's excessive. So on this one, on Samsung One UI 2.0, on the S20 and the Z Flip, what we're going to have instead of Bixby Home is going to be Samsung Daily. Okay, so this is not going to be that much different from the Bixby interface, but the name has been rebranded to uh, Samsung Daily, and it's going to look a little bit different as you can see. Let's enable that as well. That's the Bixby, that's the Samsung Daily, all right? So just a slight name change. The other difference we have is when we go to the settings right over here, all right? When we go into the display, you'll notice that the display settings presentation has shifted a little bit. So the dark mode options is right on the top. So you can just go to, you can flip between dark and light and take a look at the way it flips over. When I tap on this one, there's a transition effect to the darkness and then we have the transition effect to the lightness. Now over here, when we just enable the dark mode, boom, it just pops right in, okay? And you have to go inside the dark mode to look at all the various options. And here, again, you just go to dark mode settings uh, to access all those options. So that's one difference, the way this setting interface right here, in fact, looks. Now one more thing I'm gonna show you guys is when you are the home screen, when you pinch the screen, all right, when you go into wallpapers, we have some slight variations here. First and foremost, you can see that the icon color over here is a little bit different, not a big deal. But at the bottom here, we have an option. So it says apply dark mode to wallpaper. And here we don't have that option. So basically, when you turn on the dark mode on any one of these uh, One UI 2.0 phones, you have the option of not enabling the dark mode to apply to the wallpaper. For example, if I go right now, let me just enable the dark mode. Should be right here somewhere. Let's see, right there. So when I tap on dark mode, uh, the wallpaper actually uh, lowers its own brightness to be in sync with the dark mode. But if I don't want that, if I just want the dark mode to apply to the notification and the settings and the apps, all I do is go here, tap on wallpaper, and disable this. Now the wallpaper, even though I have dark mode enabled, is still going to be nice and bright, okay? So that's an option that you guys have uh, on One UI 2.1, all right? We have some uh, newer options. Now, one more thing that's different is going to be we have a brand new quick share feature. So that actually resides in the notifications panel right here, okay? So it's known as a quick share feature. Now, let me press and hold to go inside. So that's the quick share settings. So basically, you can share files super fast anybody else that is also using One UI 2.0 and that has a quick share uh, functionality enabled. So basically the way it works is, let me just go to my files right over here. Let's go to my files. I'm gonna tap on that. Let me just grab any file. Let me just grab any file right here. Let's tap on that one. Let's open this with gallery, okay? Tap on the share option and you'll see on the top right here, uh, we have a quick share button. So when I tap on the quick share button, if there was somebody else that had the same functionality, in this case, we don't have it on this phone right here. We don't have the quick share here because this is One UI 2.0. It's most likely is gonna get that update very soon, uh, maybe in a couple months. But right now, you can only do this with other Galaxy Z Flips and Samsung Galaxy S20s. But tap on that and it's gonna instantly share 
uh, your, your file in a super fast manner with somebody else that has a Samsung smartphone. And I want to let you know, again, if I go in here uh, to quick share, press and hold to go to the options, and you can show it to everybody or contacts only, send files from another Samsung device, and then select quick share just like I showed you. And one more thing, you can change the name of your phone right here. So when you are sharing your phone through the quick share option, other people will see the phone name. When you tap on it, you can go and you can change the name of your phone to something more uh, specific to you, all right? And then what we have is we have some camera differences. So let's go to the camera real quick. The very first thing that you're gonna see is we now have a single take option, okay? The single take option is pretty cool. If I go here, tap on tips right here, uh, it says the single take option allows you to shoot scenes once to capture all the meaningful moments in a series of pics and short clips. So basically you just uh, direct your phone at somebody, press the shutter button under single take uh, mode right over here, okay? And it's gonna take videos and photos for a uh, duration of 15 seconds and then it's gonna create all these meaningful photos and videos without, without you having to do anything. So that's actually a fantastic little feature. The other thing is uh, with the One UI 2.0, to take a burst shot, you press and hold this, all right, and you'll see it just took a burst shot. With this one, all you do is press and pull down. Press, oops, we have to go to the regular photo mode right here. So press and pull down and that's gonna take a burst shot that way. And also when you press and hold, it actually starts recording a video. And when you let it go off the shutter button, the video recording stops. So this is a quick video recorder mode if you press and hold like I just did, all right? Remember, on this one, press and hold does the burst shot. So on One UI 2.0, the burst shot is gonna be like this. And another thing that's new in the camera with One UI 2.1 on the Flip and the S20 is if I go to the More, and if I tap on the hyperlapse mode right here, let's go to this one also, right here, hyperlapse. On the top, we have a brand new option right here. When you tap it, it enables night hyperlapse mode that we do not have here. So with this one, you can actually take hyperlapse videos at night time. With this one, you still can, but this one's gonna give you better results, all right? Now, I did forget to mention one more thing that's pretty important. So back in the camera, let me show you something. If I go to the more options on the corner here, you'll notice that both of these phones have the pro mode. So when I tap on the pro mode, that's basically allows you to manually control your camera for taking photos. You can adjust the ISO manually. You can adjust the, the aperture manually. You can go for the, um, the temperatures, tint contrast. You can change all that stuff manually here and here, as you can see, same situation. But on One UI 2.1 and the S20 and the Galaxy Z Flip, what you now have is the Pro Video Mode, which is right here. And again, this is gonna allow you to control your video completely manually. If you look over here, you do not have that option. Now we might get that option with a software update in the future, but right now we only have it on One UI 2.1 the pro video mode that allows you to control the ISO, as you can see, uh, the shutter and everything else, such as the temperature, tint, contrast, saturation. Uh, let's go back. You can control the autofocus. You can go for manual focus. You can go to white balance and also for the exposure. So you can change all these things right here on the phone, even for recording videos. That's going to allow you to get some really professional results especially with the newer cameras on the S20s, which is gonna be fantastic, all right? So that's one more thing to expect on One UI 2.1. So that's another thing with One UI 2.0. And the final thing that I noticed is very insignificant, I'm gonna show you real quick. Uh, we probably do have little things like that here and there. If I go into the About Phone, you'll see that here it says Status, here it says Status, uh, but the text is a little bit different. So we have things like that. Uh, the text is a little bit different. Now, otherwise, everything else is the same. The home screens operate the same way, even though when you go to the home screen settings, and if you go down and tap on About, you'll notice that we do have newer versions on this one. This is 11.0.50. This is 11.0.05, okay? So things like that. So there's definitely some minor enhancements over here, but so far, that's all I could find. 
Anyway, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Again, that's One UI 2.0 on the Note 10, Note 10 Plus, and even some of the S10s that have gotten the latest software updates. But then on the Galaxy Z Flip and the Samsung Galaxy S20, we have One UI 2.1. But both phones do run Android 10. All right, for now, guys, have a fantastic day. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.